Hello guys, this is Paula and I am back for us to, we had all talked about in comments uh, whether or not we wanted to do an altered book. Now I've never ever done one, so be patient. I'm learning as you learn. I really, the only thing I really know is that you want a strong spine and you don't take the spine off. Um, so we'll be covering this. This is a Pat Nixon book. A daughter wrote, you know, the story about Pat Nixon. Anyway, so um, it's, you know, like perfect, really. I mean, and we'll even decorate the outside, but later. So let's go inside. I just remember that um, when when um, Gail was doing hers, which mine will not compare to hers. She does awesome work, um, especially when it comes to the grungy look, and she does great at collaging. So, I've got several different people that I've seen. Um, well, not several people that I've seen do it, but I've seen... I'm sorry, I'm grabbing something I forgot. Um, I've seen a couple different people do it. You don't see that many people. I'm looking for my little scissors here. You don't see that many people do um, this type of thing. So I'm going to bring out the scraps I have left over in this that are part of the scraps that of uh, uh, one of the digital kits. Now... Let me, uh, I was making sure I had both, both pairs. I'm sorry, I should have been prepared. All right, so we're going to be using antique papery. And it's a digital shop on Etsy. And um, I will try it. I'll try to remember and get her linked in the bottom of the video. And then I'm going to be using uh, some Texas Freckles, Tracy Fox, Paula Bynum. This is some of mine that I've made. And then some of the digitals that I, some of them, I'm going to be using the rough, the rough drafts of the ones I'm getting ready. Um, everyone's doing it. Why not do your own? <laughs> I just... I just thought, why not? Okay, so this is going to be our first page. I know normally you don't start at the very beginning, but I tore out all the pictures and the very start of the book. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to decorate this page or, you know, maybe we'll just collage this page and decorate it and then we'll move on and i know at certain points uh gail glues two she always glues two pages together so we would do this sort of thing now i don't think it will have do anything with me just going ahead and jumping right in other than it has this little bit of a divot here see but there were like i only took like four or five pages out here at the beginning um, I didn't like what was on it, and I didn't like the pictures, and I took the pictures out. You can see right here and right here where I took pictures out. They were all in one little place, or two little places, but there were several pages. It was like four or five pages on each one. So, I say we start off with something really pretty. Now, and I say we start off with either a side or top tuck. I'll get it out here in a minute. Okay, now, I really love this, so I say we start with it first. And, uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to use just, um, like, copy paper. I'm not using, because we're just going to be tearing it up and putting it in here. I mean, there are papers that can make it way more brilliant. Like, this is not 
Well, let me look and I'll show you. This is not a, this one right here is not your everyday copy sheet. It's, it's heavier and it has, it's made to, to copy like images like this. So I am planning on doing a few like this. I haven't got them done yet, but it's in my future. Okay, so I'm going to first rip all four sides off with my ruler because I'll tell you, I uh, I can't even find my ruler. I just, oh, there they are. I just realized that I just went over there <laughs> to get my ruler. <laughs> all right, so maybe we can get our act together or I can get my act together. Okay, now I'm gonna just take all four sides off and then we can just kind of get started. Um, we don't want the edges to be straight and all that. We want to have kind of jagged edges. I want you guys to tell me in at the in the comments after the video how often you think we should work on this book. Should we work on it every day till it's done, like Gail did? Should we uh, work on it every other video? Uh, I want to hear back from you guys. I don't want anybody to get bored. And um, and we're not going to do more than the hour. And I, you know, we, you can't get anything done in 30 minutes. Especially if you're actually doing the project. You know, it's kind of like finding meals that are 30-minute meals. Or, you know, with prep, cooking, and cleanup. It's hard. It's you know, they're, they're out there, but it's not going to be near like what you would experience in other situations. So, we're going to get started. Now, this first page, I'm trying to remember how Gail did it, because she did, she did pockets, and let me get it over here. She did pockets, and I remember she did them, um, she used her glitter glue and I think that's what we're going to do too. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue along the bottom. Okay. Now I'm not going to over glue this. You'll be glad to know that. <laughs> I'm just getting started on it so I don't really know how much glue we're going to need. And so then that's the first thing you do is you glue your paper down. And somewhere I got glue on my finger, so you know what that means. Oh, it's up here at the top. I really, I put a little extra up here because, you know, it's where it's gonna be opened and closed. Let me get my little hole punch out. Cause I think we should hole punch where the pocket is. And let's start, we're gonna start with the pocket on the top. And I'm just gonna center this the best I can. Well, that wasn't big enough. Come on, crazy thing. All right. I don't like to do my holes where um, it's got, you know, a big half, I just like it where before it starts curving back into the other side of the circle. And what I'm going to do is I am going to ink along the way. I don't know if I'm going to ink. I'm going to ink up here where the circle is and on the top. But I don't think I'm going to ink as much as, as Gail does. I don't ink quite as dark as her. And that's okay. I love how she, her product, her projects turn out. And so I'm just going to ink around the edge right there for now. And maybe down through here. And then we'll add more inking if we need it. I just wanted to show the pocket right here. So that's, that's what, where we're at right now. So I think what we're going to do is every page we do will take out so many pages 
and um, and we'll just go from there. I, I'm going to just say five pages. We'll take out five pages for every two pages. And hopefully I do this right. If I don't, we'll start it over. Um, okay, so we're going to use um, this paper first. Part of it, anyway. We're not going to use just this paper. I'm trying to decide which portion I want. I think we're going to go with... Uh, Let's start by putting it at the at the top or in the middle, right here. Now, I did not because of this is flat up against here, and I've torn a lot of pages out. I am not going to. I'm what I'm planning on doing as we go along here is um, I'm planning on just jumping in at you know, without even giving it any thought to start with. Now, I don't like the really straight edge for this. I should have went ahead and and um, made it a little less perfect. Except maybe right there. Maybe we'll just put it right here. Okay, now I'm going to lay this here. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, design along the way as we... You know, and we're not using just the Texas freckles. We're going to use some of the antique um, paperia. I, I don't know about you guys, but I've never heard anybody use paperia, but I'm sure it's a fine. <laughs> I just, it just feels odd when you say it, you know. Okay, so... I love all these roses on here, and I think we'll be re not we'll be better at this as we go along too. You know, now um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut right across there because I want to kind of put part of it in one place. And I'm thinking, do I want that to go all the way up? So if I do, I need to go ahead and hole punch this pocket that I can see while I can see it. And so let's just do that. Let's just, let's just do it and hope that we get it in the same spot. <laughs> I've been known not to do stuff correctly. So if that happens, that's all right. I just kind of would like to glue it down. I'd like to do it before I glue it down so that I can Get it as close to right as I can. But the inside doesn't want to pop up. There we go. Goodness. Finally. So I'm just going to put this over as far as I can. And there we go. So now I know I can just go ahead and glue that down right there. So that helps. I'm going to do around that little pocket. Now, did I get the exact same size? I don't know, but we're going to go with it, just like that. And I'm going to bring out my, my glue book, and we're going to bring out my glue stick. Now, obviously, I don't have, my desk is not big enough for all this craziness. So, we'll be tossing stuff around. I wished I, I wished it was. But, unfortunately, it's not. So, I'm undoing my glue stick now. See if I can get this ooey-gooey off before I get started. I don't know how much I have on my stick left here. But, uh, I've been home all day by myself. I did the last video by myself. And, my husband is gone to where my, my little niece lives and um yeah i want him to go over and help them or he wants to go over and help them do their electrical you know they were the ones that went through the flood and you know that's quite an experience for them you know they didn't know what to expect or anything and um this is going to go all the way. I'm trying to get it as far up to the top as I can. 
Um, anyway, their, you know, house was completely totaled. Well, it wasn't totaled, they, it, but it's completely gutted right now. They had put new carpet and new wood floors in in the past six months. What else did she tell me they had put in that's new? I can't remember, but there was some other things. It wasn't just, it wasn't just that. So, you know, that's rough. You know what I mean? That's just a, a rough thing to go through. So I think I'm gonna use this portion, and I think I'm gonna use it right here. This has brown tones in it, but when I ink over this, this will look fine with it. I decided I didn't want to go with such a giant piece. But I will tell you this, I'm going to, I'm thinking that maybe we should put a pocket in the front. Straight down in the front. Not a big pocket, just a pocket out of text. You know how we have all that text collected? And um, I'm thinking that it would be great. No, I don't want it up that high. But I don't want it to run into the pocket either. Okay. I probably will use a lot of digital papers on here. But if I need to, I'll bring out some other papers. So, I'm thinking, let me grab a pocket trying to think what I did with my pockets. I, I Once I learned where I placed everything, I want you to know this last week, I spent the whole week finally cleaning up this table and cleaning up my area, you know, so I could get started on this. And then when I sat down and thought, okay, now what do I need? Well, it just took me um, forever <laughs> to answer myself. Um, I needed to have, you know, everything like, like, uh, out where I could see it. So I don't forget. Now, see, that's not going to be wide enough. So I think, we're, oh, no, here's one. I'm telling you, it pays to keep, keep all your scraps, doesn't it? Now, this is going to be a pretty deep pocket if I don't trim some off. So I think I'm just going to cut like three fourths to an inch off the bottom and hopefully I got it straight enough. <laughs> no, nope, it's not perfect. Let me try that one more time. I'll try to straighten one side up to go with the other side. And you, this has got like three pages in it. I can tell it's really heavy. So I think on this portion, we're gonna do it just like that. Um, I think it would look good to maybe put a doily here. Um, but let's finish what we're doing here first. Okay, so we used those two, which was, um, I'm thinking I'm going to add this. I want something different up here in the corner. And so I'm, I think I'm going to use um, maybe some scraps that I had left over on mine. Now, I don't have the, mine on paper that will show a shine, just so you know. So there's going to be some definite, um, definite changes to it. Hmm, I don't like the way that covers. I don't like the air. This is the more plateful paper that I did. Um, and you know, when I say plateful, what I'm talking about is it's, it is not, um, I just didn't put any thought into it. It's when I first started collaging and I just took it and did what I wanted with it. So, you know, I'm going to tear this just like this and then can always go back and tear some more. Okay, so make sure I've got it in the upright position. So maybe we'll just come over this. Now, I'm realizing now that this is pretty bright compared to this. 
So I'm gonna see what I can do with the ink so that I don't feel like I shouldn't have put that paper on there. So I'm gonna ink, I'm just gonna brush over it. Now, I think I'm gonna use my Tim Holtz uh, Distress Brush. If you guys don't have one, let me show you. I may have already showed you guys this. It comes in a container like this, and you pull this down and push that up, and you have a brush. Now, this one I use just for vintage photo, but you just go around and then you just lightly brush. So see, it's already taken the brightness off of this paper. And so I don't have to, it looks as dull as the rest, which is just exactly what I want. So I'm gonna put this right here. And that way it'll all look, even though it's three different digital kits, nobody will know the difference except us and the person who owns the kit. <laughs> okay. All right. Come off my fingers. All right. There. I kind of like having all the different shapes. Yeah, that's better since we brushed over that right there. Don't you think? Okay, now, um, let's see what else I want to put on there. Uh, I don't want any two things next to each other. So I'm looking at more of this, and that way we only use three on this particular page. Um, uh, let's see. No, I don't like the print on that portion. See, this one has so much playfulness to it. it it's not what I want for this particular page. I also have some others that I'm working on. I don't think I have them printed out. I don't. But I do have a couple more. Um... I think I have a total of three or four pages that are going to be used. Now, I like this page better than that the one I just showed you because I like the hearts on it. <laughs> so I'm hoping that we can tear down and come up with one of these hearts. So let's see what we can do. All right, so we'll just, we'll just tear it like this. Alrighty, and then we'll decide which portion we want right in here. I kind of like the stitches, so let's try leaving some of the stitches. And I want to come up a little ways. Let's see, that's probably a couple. Of, I don't want to go all the way up, but I'm going to leave rooms. I don't want to have to put little tiny pieces on this, if you know what I mean. Okay, so now, let's see what we've got going here. Let's, that might be sticking out. Um, yeah, let's just do that. And it doesn't matter if some of the brown uh, paper shows because um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make that big difference. And I think on this one, I'm going to just use this kind of semi-straight ruler. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm dropping stuff everywhere, but you, you would understand if you could see my desk. Before the next video, I'm going to try to figure out a way to have a little more room. I tell you, I've just outgrown this huge room. I don't... I don't want to go to a bigger room because it just means more junk. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring this forward a little bit so I can see. I hope I'm not getting my head in the video because that would not be cool. I want this straight on this side, but, and I, but I don't want to trim any off. So let me see if that looks straight. No, the heart's are not exactly straight. So I may have to trim some off. 
in order to get the hearts to be straight. Yeah, that's not so bad. It's not so bad. Um, yeah. Hey, I can see why Gail likes doing this. Uh, I'm going to put these big scissors that keep bouncing on the table. <laughs> those away because they're driving me crazy okay so now we're going to put on our pocket and I think that because it's a pocket that's not attached to a book that we should use Fabri-Tac uh, I just don't want the pockets to come off and I just think and but you know I'm thinking now that I think about it we should get the top portion decorated before we put it on it will just make life easier and if we wanted to we could stitch around this i just have to not uh, use my glue there um let me move on to something else to another collection here i don't have anything picked out you know i just kind of doing my own thing all right so look at this little mouse <laughs> <laughs> He's cute. I like this flower. Um, let me see what all I've got in this this pack. This is from Iozy. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, and it's she does a great job. Look, there's a built-in doily. But I like that butterfly too, right there. Let's do that. Let's let's tear right down that portion. Let's tear it to fit here. And that way it will just go on without any problem. Okay, now I'm gonna let this hang over while we do that. And that way it will fit for us. Okay, why not just my ruler? There's my ruler. Okay, so this portion I'm going to use right about here. I'm not going to tear everything. Got to get it around the corner, though. There we go. Um, I want it to be right where we need it here. I'm not trimming the whole thing right now. I'm just going to do enough to put right here. Okay. Awesome. Okay, and I think on this other side, now you know, as I told you, this is kind of a walk-through, learn-together kind of thing. Until after we've done all the pockets, I really, and count counted all the pages and so forth, I, I really don't. Oh, we'll just learn together. Okay, now, where is the end of the pocket? Right there. So, I'm just going to go straight across and tear it down there. Yay! It's working. I like this whole section. Um, so, I'm going to put this right here. And we'll tear along the bottom portion of the pocket. I really don't want to get the antlers on the deer. So I'm going to pull this forward a little bit. Let's see how far out. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Okie dokie. Let's see. Maybe a little bigger, but I definitely want the lace on the left. And yeah, I need to trim just a little bit down, and I'm just going to use these because it's just fast and okay. Let's see how that looks. Looks good. Looks good. I think it does anyway. I say we go for it. And I'm going to bring my book right here so everybody can see. Now, this is not going to be Fabri-Tac for the, for the collaging portion. It would just cost a fortune if we did that, especially me. You know how I go crazy. But this is super strong. 
I haven't had anything come apart that I've used this on. So if it, it did, it would be the first time. I have not had any problems with it. Where did my pocket go? I'm telling you, things have feet and they get up and move. Okay. Now I may, now that I've got this lace here, I may decide I don't want to, um, that I don't want to use a doily. I'm going to go ahead and ink around this pocket before we put it down. Now as far as, you know, I thought we'd do a few pages and then go back and decorate the next few pages. That way we can get several collaged or, or do like a top pocket, a triangle pocket, um, try to, different ways of doing pockets, like three maybe, and then go back and decorate or four. We'll decide. Okay, so see, I just think that being stitched would look good. So I'm I'm not going to put it put it down yet. Um I have my machine is too new to just sew through glue. My husband would crown me. <laughs> he would not crown me. That is not true, Paula. Paula, you just told a fib. Uh my husband's wonderful and he would never crown me. <laughs> so I'm going to look at some of this lace right here. I know I said we weren't going to decorate that I'm having a change of heart just for this one thing. I've got this lace. I want the first page to just be pretty. So I think, but then that cuts off my butterfly, which is okay because I've got plenty of butterflies I can add back on, right? So I'm going to put, I got it on backwards there, I think. Boy, that's wrinkled. Well, it was in my scrap bag. <laughs> It's not really a scrap, but it was the last amount that was left on the roll. Okay. All right, so we're gonna glue this right across here. And I am going to use some Fabri-Tac. Let me see how much I need to cut off. We can always trim the lace and get it a little bit sharper, you know, after it dries. Okay, let me make sure by looking. That's the wrong side. This is the right side. Okay. And see, this is... I probably should have trimmed this side first. It's kind of shaggy on that side, but... And now I'm questioning which side is side is right and which side is wrong. You guys, I am so I can I I have terrible vision is what I'm trying to say here. My vision has just gone down. Now see, you if you do glue on your lace, you wanna it's gonna look like what have I done, you know? But the thing is is it will dry clear. So, got to kind of lean it for a second so I can see where we're going. And as soon as all of this dries, I am going to stitch it. I'm going to have to change my thread. I think I want to use brown so that it's kind of a contrast to everything else we're using. I think that would be a good idea. Oh my goodness, where's, I took my big scissors away. I'm not used to putting them up. <laughs> you know, sometimes putting things up is not uh, good when you're not used to it. I keep, I just keep them out because I'm constantly trying to find scissors, you know. So I'll just leave them on the table. They have a home there. All right. Now, I'm going to have to have a wipey because that really got glue on my fingers because it does seep through pretty well. Okay, so that is that that is going to be let me put some ink 
across this one too, especially right in here. I don't want it, I want it to all blend nicely. Now, after this gets sewn on, we will decorate um, this page. I'm already getting stuck to stuff, so I'm gonna change that one out. Okay, so this is how it's going to look, only it's going to be stitched. I think we have to add some stitching in our book for it to look really neat. And with these fake stick stitches up here, that will look good together. Now, do we want to add anything else? Um, the question is, do we want to add anything else? I don't know yet. So, um, you know, I've got a lot of cut out florals and so forth, but this up here, I don't want to cover. And we've got this lace, so I may add, you know, another butterfly or I may not. Uh, so, I'm gonna let this dry right here like that. Now we're gonna go over and I'm trying to remember now how many pages, I think it was one, two. Since I tore out so many, that's two, this is three, four, five. Now, I did watch a video of a lady that said do not clean this up, uh, that it just keeps the book secure. But I hate the way it looks. I don't know about you guys. So I am going to just tear up the, tear the big pieces that are in the way. Uh, now, where the pictures were, I did kind of trim it down because it just looked awful at the front of the book, you know. So I didn't want that to be one of the first things that people would see when they opened the journal. Okay, now, see this is gonna be fine. Now I think what we'll do is we tore out five sheets. Um, so this is its, no, we have to decorate the back side. Oh, well we've already got our sheets torn out, so that's, that's perfect. Now I think what I'm gonna do, I really like that. I don't want the antlers on there, but maybe I'm thinking we're not going to have a, we've got two pockets over here, so we don't have to have a pocket on all. Once I get going on this, I'll get this figured out. I'm just questioning everything I do. Just, you know, that's just how it is. I'm going to tear about this width. I don't want the antlers on here. They look kind of odd sticking out there. So I'm going to just tear just to the other side of the antlers. And um, we'll tear up here as far up as we can. And maybe... We'll just put it in this corner right here. Okay, so we'll leave it there for now while we venture out to see what else we have to choose from. Um, I, I still want to stick kind of with um, some of the same ones we've worked with. So it kind of coordinates a little bit. It doesn't have to, but I would like for it to. Okay. I think I like it like that better. Um, or I'm going to play with it and see what we end up with. Um, I'm going to cut this little piece. I kind of like having all the different sides torn different. I think it's kind of fun. You know, like you've got the big, big section here. You've got the scissors here and you know what I'm saying? This one isn't a good example, but I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna come over here. Do I want this all the way up? I think it's not too curvy, curvy enough on that side. 
So I'm going to do it like this, real curvy now. Okay. Because you're going to have, just FYI, you're going to have like a curve right here where this page curves out and up. Do you see what I'm saying? So, probably I will not be getting down in the spine kind of thing. But see, I think already we've done something wrong. Haven't we, Gail? <laughs> so, I think because I think we did... Um, we're going to just correct it by covering this. I think this is where you do your glue your two pages together. You should leave one one af one or two after one. I would leave one page behind behind the left side's paper. So I you know pretend I didn't pull this out and then I would glue these two together and make a pocket or whatever. And then I tear out the next five. That way, this is inside glued papers, and you don't have to worry about doing anything to it because it just takes a lot of time to spend doing that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do because of that is I'm going to fold this over. Let me put some glue on it first. And then uh, the next time we tear, I'll remember we have to do that. I say that, but I hope, I hope I'll remember. <laughs> so we're going to make a pocket out of this, even though, well, wait a minute. I was going to fold it down and then fold it up. Okay. So we are going to make a pocket. So I'm folding this in half. Okay. And then we're going to bring it up and over and it's going to be a pocket for this side. Now, because it's um, a pocket and I want to keep it in place, I'm going to come on out, glue. Oh, come on out. And I always put a little dab extra right here so I don't have to worry about it coming apart. This is so long that you really could, you know, do enough glue right here that you don't have to worry about it okay messy messy okay so now we're going to fold this up and hold it for a second this is fun we're going to have another pocket see as you go along you just kind of try to come up with different ideas as far as pockets go i think gail only did top pockets side pockets and i think she did some crisscross tight pockets so we'll just have to find out I'll have to go back and watch the video a little bit here and there just to see how she did it I haven't understood oh and see this is perfect because it's gonna fit right on there and this will fit great here right in here I should have put this one on before I put the pocket down but I'm gonna do it right now so that you know we have time to slip it under there before the glue glue before the glue glues <laughs> and I guarantee you this is going to take a lot of uh, glue sticks I don't care I buy it by the case I've already gone through one case you guys since all the collaging stuff has come out what has that been a couple two three months I don't know but that's all right. That's what part of the fun is, right? Okay, now I'm going to get this up here. Now, this is not going to go all the way to the top because, um, uh, especially right up here, because of the hoe. So, I'm going to kind of make a niche right there on the corner of my paper. So, it will slide under there without any problem. And the thing I really like is that you don't have, you do not have to have all the paper pages or all the text pages co covered because it's not going to, it's not going to matter. 
it's not going to matter. So we need a little section down here, and I'm thinking maybe these little roses. But I'm going to see how far over I need. To, well, that's perfect, really. Let's just do it, right? Now, every now and then, and I may go back and do it right now, and I'll show you while it's fresh on my mind, you can go back and just add um, other text, music sheet, um, other stuff like that. Now, I'm going to pull that out right there so that when we slide that up under, it will go all the way in without any problem. You gotta watch this book a flip on you. Okay. Now, not looking so bad, huh? Yeah, we can add dictionary page. We can add uh, some journaling spots if we want to. But the journaling on this, from what I understood from Gail, is the journaling in this book is from things that we put in pockets, mostly. And um, if we want to go along and add a page, say journal, we can do that. We can do whatever we want. There's no rules for us, uh, which makes it even more fun. No rules. No rules. And you know, this project, especially in the beginning, is going to fly right by. So I will come back and do more in this book um, in my next video until we get some answers as to how we want to do it. Now, you know, if I have something that is just burning my hands to show you guys, I will come back and do that for sure. That that way, um, let's see right here. It's going to be a nuisance using this book, but you just really have to. Um, you know, you've got to have something to glue it down with. Okay, let's do like this. We'll just add this maybe right here. And then then we can decide what we want right here. I'm looking at our scraps that we have. I think we should use a scrap of this. Uh, let's use... Maybe, we'll just kind of tear it like this and see what we end up with. I like that. Yeah. I think it's a little wide right here. Let's see if I can find a straight area. I don't want it to be uh, down in into this, um, the book seam because down in the binding, it will um, the ink will start popping up on your project on your papers. Big curves, you know, and glue sticks just don't do great on big curves. At least I've discovered that in some of the things I've made. Um, and it's just not necessary. Okay, so we're going to go right here. So I think what we'll do is, I do have a doily right here. I wasn't really wanting to use doilies, but I think we need something right here. Because there's a whole lot of text. And it just looks lonely. And I am going to wrap it around. And this will be messy because it's got so many of those <laughs> open areas. Another reason I, I'm trying to use as much um, glue stick in this book is because it is... Um, 
it just holds better on the claws and it just looks better and you don't get that shiny glue even though a lot of the glues um you know don't dry they dry clear there's it doesn't say they don't have a little bit of glossiness to them because i've seen that happen in several things i've i've glued down so i'm going to slide this under first and hope it doesn't glue our pocket together do you know what I'm saying? And then we'll bring it down. Let me get under here. I'm going to put some plastic underneath so the dolly doesn't. Um, just got to find it. I cleaned up so well, I don't even see any plastic. Hold on. Let me get it. I thought I had some over here, but maybe not. Okay, here's some. We're going to put it right here. We'll just slide this in. This is what I recommend if you're gluing inside a pocket or where it can stick to something else. Now, see, I just think that made a difference. And again, we'll come back and decorate. Now, what I am thinking is, should we also take this hole that we punched here and punch it through so that it's on both sides? The problem is... I don't know if my pocket on the other one is going to be in the way. So this is interesting. How do you fold it down? <laughs> we're fixing to find out our first little boo-boo. Okay. So we're going to have to separate it. It's it's not going to go down. You have to... I, I, I'm realizing now what you have to do. You have to put your page... Pull your page from the left to the right. Okay, so we just undid this. The first mistake, right? Now, I don't know how this is all going to work. We'll just find out as we go along. Um, but you have to glue this direction. I'm hoping that is what the problem was. If not, I'm really going to have to watch Gail's videos. But I, see, because I pulled it this way, and when I pulled it back this way, it, it didn't want to relax into that position. And that is going to be the position it needs to be in. So, um, definitely want this part to be correct. I don't remember Gail ever saying anything about that. That doesn't mean, mean a whole lot, but I'm going to push it down. And we'll give it some time to glue together and we'll try it again. Yeah, that's going to make a huge difference. I can tell before it even glues. I'm surprised I didn't think of that. I mean, of course, I've never made one, so it's not um, hard to miss, you know. You know when you fiddle and piddle and take longer than necessary to glue your paper down or lay your paper down, the you will have to re-glue it because the... Uh, yeah, I'll see that's better. I'll wait till this dries and I'll go back and punch the hole on the top. Now, we're going to have to just... I wonder what Gail did. She just pushed it over. I remember watching her. Just made it happen. So it should... It's still wanting to... I wonder if she did pockets on the inside. Do you know what I'm saying? We may have to yank this little guy out because I want it to be able to I'll lay it down like that and try it again. I don't know how beautiful this would be when we're done, but the collage papers will be great. If we don't end up liking it, if we can't get it to cooperate, we'll just take the pages out and use them some, for something we want. Right? Okay, I'm going to have to put some glitter glue on part of this. But I'm going to let it get dry enough to see if it's going to work. See, when you pull back this way, it opens it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and add this glitter glue. In where I folded the pocket back are the, um, you know, these pages get really thick and hard to manipulate when they dry so you just kind of want to work it in the right direction as you go along so right here in where i folded the one book page in half to make the pocket i didn't 
get far enough out to the edge and it's leaving a big gap. Now, these little gaps like this bug me. So even when I'm collaging just on a project, I have to come over and fix them. Because I don't, I don't want it to look gappy on the sides to whoever might end up with it. And I don't know if I'll sell it or not because it's my trial one. We'll see. We'll see how, how the big picture is when it's all said and done. Okay, this side. It's not here where your pocket is. It's not right here. It's in between this page and the pocket right there. Maybe this one's not near as bad. Yeah, it still has it. I'm going to turn it where I can see a little bit better. Hopefully you guys can too. This is giving it time while I'm fixing this. It's giving it time to, to dry a little better. You just want to make sure you're not doing it where it's supposed to be a pocket. Okay. All right. And there is the pocket. Right there. Okay. That's much better. Now, while I've got this in a, this position, I'm noticing on the other side, because I can see through, that if we put a hole at the top, it's going to cut into the pocket. So, we're not going to do it. That way, we don't have to worry about it looking so, you know, yucky. Okay, so here is the glue. I mean, the ink. So, I'm going to ink over the top, first of all. And uh, down in the little valley. That way it doesn't have such a... I like pastels, but I don't like them to be too girly-girly, you know. I hope you guys can see. Make sure we're still going there. Yeah, we are. I need, I can't see what time it is, but or how many minutes we have gone, but I'll check that too in just a second. Now, this was just to go over the, um, the paper. I'm going to go ahead and ink around the edge while we're here. You know, I I know some people, I, I think Gail inked each piece. I just, I feel like that will take us forever. So I'm just going to, you know, do it like this. But if you make one for yourself, you can do it. You've got all the time in the world. And that's kind of how I look at it. It's one of those kind of projects. If you're doing it for yourself, you can go back and forth, you know, working on it. You know how you get bored when you're doing a cross stitch and you got to take a break? be just like that it could be the same type of thing where you just now if I notice little corners sticking up I'm gonna come over every now and then and put them right back down so I think that this side looks pretty good now yes everything's facing down but that's okay and then we've got our first page where'd my pocket go with our pocket which uh, I'll stitch around and then it can be glued down and then we'll have to make I think if we can do like some kind of solid colors for the pocket not solid but not all collaging it probably will look better we are at 59 minutes and 10 seconds so I'm going to um, I'll have this glued down all I'm going to do is stitch here here and here and glue it down right like this and and then we'll have this page with a pocket and oh I forgot to ink right here you want to ink right here to show the separation I'll get my act together after a few times doing this hopefully <laughs> we can only hope all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed 
the starting of this book. I hope we do it correctly as we go along. I'm going to try really hard. And, um, yeah, and I'm going to try to figure out if I can find any more room. It's hard because on the right side is my sewing machine. On the left side is my big Fisker's um, cutter or slicer or trimmer. <laughs> I'll get it right in a minute. You know what I mean. Okay, guys, I enjoyed this video. I hope you guys did. If you haven't subscribed, please join us. We're just getting started. And um, when I reach 2,000, we are going to be giving away the rainbow book. And so we have one more page to do in that. And then I'll have to figure out how I'm going to make the cover because I don't know. We'll just have to see, right? I know I'm going to use rainbow colors. <laughs> so see you in the next video. Appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.